Hey guys, Lou here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Acorn Hill. It is good to touch base with everybody yet again. Um, been away for a couple of weeks. Uh, there's a lot going on on the property. We were uh, putting down new roofing. Uh, we had a couple of storms that passed the area and uh, North Carolina heat and summer have really gone on its full glory this year. And so that kept me busy apart from uh, my regular workload. So today, I am coming back wanting to let you guys know about my newest project. This is an older video that I'm just trying to put together. This is how to um, propagate angel wing begonia from cuttings. Angel wing begonias are often grown for their large, beautiful, heart-shaped leaves that resemble two folded wings. Although they are typically chosen for their foliage, they also can be attractive blooms that would come out of these plants given the correct growing conditions. Angel wing begonias can grow to heights of 10 feet. Mine grew to about three foot tall and this just came from a four inch pot and healthy soil, good watering schedule, and it has produced three and a half feet of growth that I figured now it is time to cut them and propagate them so we can have multiple plants. This angel wing begonia, like many other begonias, are grown for their leaves and we are growing them indoors. Some people grow them outdoors, but the weather in North Carolina is very harsh and growing them outdoors will just waste the plant. They have very large and lovely foliage and propagating is very easy through cuttings. And before I go any further, I'd like to take a quick second and thank all my new subscribers. Those of you who are from Romania and from Spain and from New Zealand, I see you guys. Thank you for choosing to subscribe here on the channel and welcome to Acorn Hill. We look forward to hearing from you on the comment section and hopefully we'll learn something new as that is the mantra of our channel. All right, now back to propagating. What I wanted to show you is my propagating scissors and using propagating scissors for cutting is my preferred tool of choice and sterilized by regular rubbing alcohol. This process of sterilizing the blades is simple and practical because what we're doing here is preventing any bacteria from entering into the fresh cuts not only on the old plant but off and into the new plants that we are trying to propagate. It would be a shame if um, we make this mistake and find out that we are really doing well in propagating um, a week later the plants die. All right, after sterilizing, the next step is the obvious way, which is cutting off the branches that we wanted to propagate. What I do here is simple. As with any cutting propagation that I do, I choose a region, a site along the stem, and cut underneath a leaf node. In my experience, cutting underneath the leaf node promotes better growth. This is the region along the stem where there's a lot of growth hormones, and in my experience, whenever I cut down below that leaf node and stick it in a very gritty sandy starter compost small roots appear right off of that site right at the internodal section of the stem it gives me roots for um, anywhere between four weeks to six weeks and that's always been my success rate I've uh, been pretty proud of myself because I get a 90% to 100% success rate on all my uh, cutting propagation projects here you have it guys, a pretty straightforward way of cutting this stem. This stem is about a foot to 16 inches long. Uh, the stem is healthy. It's about the diameter of a pencil and that's what I try to do. Not only with this cane uh, begonia which is the obvious diameter for it, it's pencil thin, but on all my other uh, cutting propagation projects where I have to choose um, just uh, a diameter of a pencil is always good to be the propagation material. Anything uh, bigger than that makes it harder for the plant to cope and for the plant to produce roots. This cane begonia, the mother plant is a year old and after a year and after having three and a half feet of uh, individual canes, there were two long canes that I needed to cut and this is what they end up being, ended up looking as after we've cut them from the mother plant. They're pretty healthy. The leaves of this cane begonia, it is one of the easiest by the way to grow and all y'all out there who are very good um, begonia growers can attest to this. Um, in my experience, I'm experimenting with many different types of begonias but this is by far the easiest. It is fail safe and foolproof. Um, you can see the nice coloration that dark 
hunter green uh, with a touch of um, purple uh, right on top there's that purple sheen on top of that leaf and underneath you can see that chocolate brown um, purple burgundy color uh, that really gives this begonia not only uh, unique I also like the splotches those little dots that are on top of the leaf um, good plant material and, and very easy uh, to start with for those of you who are uh, curious to start this plant indoors. It is definitely a good beginner house plant. Two weeks later and as you can see I did not start them from a greedy compost. I started propagating them to root in water. These begonia cuttings have been sitting in this vase filled with distilled water for two weeks. What happened then was initially there were no roots. It started um, having some pimple-like uh, vesicles forming. They're kind of pale white forming along the tip of the stem and slowly off of those little roots have started to pop out. I would say on the 11th or 12th day in my experience, they started coming out. I wanted to do them in this vase. That way we can really see and I can show you how quickly and how easily these can uh, root out. These are healthy roots. All they needed is every week I would be replacing with fresh distilled water. That's what's causing all these roots to grow healthy. They just made all these leaves hydrated and that's what's causing them to maintain their, their health and vigor throughout the two weeks that I initially had them in. Two weeks of these healthy sticks or twigs just sitting in distilled water and all these roots are coming out very healthily, all ready for transplant into the final uh, pot where they will be sitting in and uh, will grow for the next year or so. Now, apart from the begonia stems, I tried rooting out um, stems of actual leaves. I uh, wanted to know, I'm just very curious whether they will produce and push out some roots and look what happened here. I put three leaves. These are very healthy leaves that came off of the bottom of that initial cutting that I had and I stuck them at the same time when I stuck those sticks in the vase. I stuck these leaves in a little jigger um, sitting here for about three weeks now uh, and you, you can see the amount of roots that these individual leaves have produced. What I did was these were originally long angel wing leaves and I've cut them in half that way we don't get too much evaporation happening on the leaves but three weeks later I have this very dense mat of uh, roots already forming underneath them and I don't know how they will grow but uh, it'll be an experiment because apart from them these i'm going to show you the two stems by the way i've cut uh, one stem into two pieces and so i ended up having four individual canes that i have planted into two individual pots so um, i got two pots each pot contains uh, a pair of stems very healthy these are the original stems that i showed you in the previous clip with good root systems that are already ready to be planted in pots. These pots contain very gritty compost with leaf mold and that's what it's going to be sitting in. That's the growing environment and growing medium that they will be in for the next year or so. I water them regularly almost every other day just to make sure that all these roots will slowly re-establish and grow. I watered them almost every other day with a weak solution of high potash feed and my high potash feed is just made of a drop of comfrey solution to a big gallon, gallon and a half of water mixed in a watering can. Well there you have it guys, a really quick primer on how to propagate cane begonias from cuttings. I will be putting up some of my links for all my other propagation videos and I hope you guys are having a good summer. And for those of you who have propagated plants in the past, you are very much welcome to put in your comments on the comment section. And also don't forget to subscribe to Acorn Hill and invite your friends. For now, this is Louie and we'll see you back here, here on our channel, Acorn Hill. Bye bye for now.